Ever pondered why we haven't made contact with extraterrestrial life yet? This question brings us to the Fermi Paradox. Named after the famed physicist Enrico Fermi, this paradox grapples with a question that has been echoing through the cosmos for centuries. Where is everybody? You see, our universe, with its 200 billion galaxies, each containing billions of stars much like our own, seems like the perfect setting for life to thrive. Yet, our cosmic telephone remains eerily silent. No interstellar hello, no galactic greeting. The Fermi paradox, then, is this contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. It's like throwing a party, sending out invitations to the entire neighborhood, and then waiting, and waiting. But no one shows up. In our quest to decipher this paradox, we've stumbled upon some truly bizarre explanations. The Zoo Hypothesis Imagine an interstellar zoo with Earth as the main exhibit. Well, this idea is not as far-fetched as it might seem. This is the premise of the zoo hypothesis, a proposed solution to the Fermi paradox, which ponders why we haven't yet detected signs of extraterrestrial life. The zoo hypothesis posits that we are not alone in the universe. Instead, advanced alien civilizations are out there, actively observing us, much like we observe animals in a zoo. The reason we haven't made contact they choose not to interfere, preserving Earth and its inhabitants in their natural state. But why would they do this? The reasons could be many. Perhaps these advanced civilizations see value in observing a less developed species, learning from our evolution and behavior. Or maybe they're testing us, waiting to see if we can reach a certain level of technological or moral advancement before making contact. Of course, this hypothesis raises some intriguing ethical questions. If we are indeed part of an interstellar zoo, what does that say about our autonomy, our freedom? Are we truly masters of our own destiny, or are we merely players in a cosmic game, observed and possibly manipulated by unseen spectators? And what about the zookeepers, these hypothetical extraterrestrial observers? What responsibilities do they bear? If they possess the power to observe without interfering, do they also have the ability to intervene in times of crisis? If so, at what point should they step in, and at what point should they stand back and let nature take its course? These questions may seem overwhelming, even unsettling, but they are worth considering. The zoo hypothesis challenges us to think about our place in the universe in a whole new way. It forces us to confront the possibility that we are not alone, and that our actions may be seen and judged by intelligent beings beyond our comprehension. So, as we gaze at the stars and ponder our existence, we must ask ourselves, are we simply a spectacle for advanced civilizations to observe? The self-destruction theory. Could civilizations be their own worst enemies? Now that's a thought to ponder. As we delve into the self-destruction theory, we're faced with a chilling idea. This theory suggests that civilizations, including ours, might be on a path to self-destruction before they can even make contact with other civilizations. Isn't it ironic? the very advancements that propel societies forward could also be their downfall. Let's think about it. We've harnessed the power of the atom, but this same power could wipe us out in the blink of an eye. The same technologies that connect us globally could also lead to our undoing. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, leading to a technological singularity. This could result in machines that are out of our control, potentially causing an existential catastrophe. It's a dystopian future straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's a possibility we can't ignore. Then, there's the environmental aspect. As civilizations advance, they consume resources at an accelerated pace, often neglecting the health of their planet. The Earth's climate is changing, species are going extinct, and natural resources are depleting. If we don't act, our planet could become inhospitable, long before we find another one to call home. And let's not forget about the potential for self-annihilation through war. As civilizations grow and compete for resources, conflicts may arise. With the weapons of mass destruction at our disposal, a global war could spell the end of humanity. The self-destruction theory doesn't paint a rosy picture. It forces us to confront our mortality and the consequences of our actions. But it also serves as a stark reminder that we hold our destiny in our hands. So, as we gaze into the cosmos and ponder our place in it, we must also look inward. We must question not just our ability to reach out to other civilizations, but also our capacity to sustain our own. 
Could our fate be sealed by our own actions? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, we're the authors of our own story, and it's up to us to ensure it doesn't end in tragedy. The Simulation Hypothesis Have you ever wondered if reality is... real? This question might sound absurd, but it's the basis of a mind-bending concept known as the Simulation Hypothesis. Imagine, for a moment, a civilization so advanced that it's capable of creating a computer simulation so intricate, so detailed, that it perfectly mimics our reality. Now, take it one step further and ponder this. What if we're living in that simulation right now? The simulation hypothesis proposes just that. It suggests that we, along with everything we know and perceive, might be nothing more than bits and bytes in an extremely advanced extraterrestrial computer system. Every thought, every sensation, every moment of existence might be the product of an alien code, written by beings far beyond our comprehension. This idea might seem like a plot point from a science fiction novel, but it's taken quite seriously by some of the world's top thinkers. Renowned physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has even stated that there's a 50-50 chance that our entire existence is a simulation. But how does this relate to the Fermi paradox? The puzzling question of why we haven't yet encountered extraterrestrial life. The simulation hypothesis offers a potential answer. If our reality is indeed a simulation, it's possible that the beings running it have decided to isolate us, to prevent us from making contact with other simulated civilizations. Or maybe they're the only real entities out there, and we're just part of their cosmic video game. Of course, like all theories related to the Fermi paradox, the simulation hypothesis is just that, a hypothesis. It's an idea, a possibility, not a proven fact, but it's a concept that forces us to question our understanding of reality and our place within it. So, next time you look up at the night sky and wonder about our place in the universe, remember this. Are we merely characters in an alien video game? The Transcension Hypothesis What if civilizations aren't venturing out into space, but inward instead? Welcome to the world of the Transcension Hypothesis. This fascinating theory offers a unique perspective on the Fermi Paradox the puzzling contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence of such civilizations. The Transcension Hypothesis proposes a compelling explanation. It suggests that advanced civilizations eventually reach a point of technological singularity. This is a hypothetical point in time when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to civilization. Once this singularity is reached, Civilizations don't expand outward into the cosmos, as we might intuitively expect. Instead, they retract. They disappear from this universe, choosing to explore what we can refer to as inner space. This is not a journey into the physical self, but rather a voyage into a realm beyond our current understanding. A journey into computational spaces and post-biological realities. Imagine a civilization that has mastered the technology to manipulate matter, energy, and even space-time to such an extent that it can create its own pocket universes. These universes, governed by laws set by their creators, could offer endless possibilities for exploration and experience, far beyond anything the physical universe can offer. So, why haven't we heard from these advanced civilizations? According to the Transcension Hypothesis, these civilizations become effectively invisible to us, as they compress their physical presence and transition into these self-created inner spaces. They might be right here, all around us, but operating on scales so small and in dimensions so vast that they're beyond our current capacity to detect or comprehend. This hypothesis is, of course, purely speculative. Yet, it offers an intriguing solution to the Fermi paradox that challenges our traditional notions of what advanced civilization means and where we might find it. Could the final frontier actually be within us? If the Transcension Hypothesis holds any water, the exploration of outer space may be just the prelude to the ultimate journey, inward. The Fermi Paradox continues to baffle us with its profound silence. We've journeyed through some of its strangest explanations, each one more mind-bending than the last. From the intriguing Zoo Hypothesis, suggesting we're cosmic exhibits on display, to the chilling self-destruction theory, implying civilizations obliterate themselves before making cosmic contact, we've delved into the simulation hypothesis, contemplating our existence as part of a grand cosmic program, 
and the transcension hypothesis, proposing advanced beings may retreat into black holes, leaving the universe seemingly empty. Each of these theories, while fascinating, are speculative at best, and none provide a concrete answer to the silence that permeates across the cosmos. The Fermi paradox remains a mystery, a riddle hidden in the vast expanse of the universe. But remember, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Perhaps the most exciting explanation is yet to be discovered. Until then, the universe waits in silence.